So welcome back. We're going to look at data sharing via the relationships. So let's start again by opening a fresh tax return. And we're going to look at entering data into one return and hitting this synchronize button to send it to somebody else in our database. So from the central console, or the client console, you can see I have relationships already set up. Shareholders, beneficiaries, a few directors. So that's what we're going to use to send data in. So if I go down and we're going to start at the rental, I use the link button and I'm going to open up the rental property worksheet. So if I expand all the sections and start putting some data in here, I'm going to use the uh, Melbourne address of Queen Street and it defaults to 100% ownership. That's under the AJD company. I'll just put in a start date using the calendar, January 1st, purchase price 500,000, and that's all on the company at the moment. If I want to change that to 50% ownership, it will give me another line by default, and it will give me a link to access my database. Automatically, it'll come with the uh, relationships section but I can attach it to clients and non-clients as well. Let's choose Karen in this case. And we're gonna put in 50% for Karen, but you can see that it's already broken that in half for us automatically. So from the main form, you can see it's grayed out for the rental property income. So I can't enter it directly in there, but if I go back to the rental properties worksheet, Put the 50% in for Karen. There's no income in the worksheet at all, so it's still grayed out. We're going to go back to the sheet itself, either using the link button or going to the tab at the top. Going to go to the income section and put some income in for the rental. You can see that's automatically split at the 50% that we've told it to. And that gray bar now has some data in it. So anything that's grayed out will allow you to find the worksheet and put the detailed data in the background. And I put some franked and unfranked dividends in automatically here and you can see when I use a symbol at the bottom to put in detail, that what it will do is overwrite and remove the data I put in the sections before. Because once detail's in there, it requires me to enter in this section to be filled out above. If I hit the sharing button here, I can take the default 100% off down to 50. It'll again generate that other line for me. I can search my database again for another relationship. I'm going to choose my trust. Put in my 50%. And now you can see it's automatically halved all the data that I put in on the main line. If I hit the synchronize button, this is going to send the data that's entered to my relationships. And if I view the report, it's going to show me that that trust isn't actually created yet. So it can't send it directly because the return's not created, does not exist. However, it keeps it inside the database for you. They've got orange symbols on there now to tell me that it is shared and it's been synchronized. So if I go to the tax manager and change up the top here to my trust client, 
and create a 2018 to match. Once this is added, you will see that I open that return. And in my tax summary, it already has those details flowing through to a different return on my relationship. I can synchronize the other direction 